Hello and welcome to another SciFest Movie Talk episode. In this episode I will be discussing the 2018 horror flick Slenderman, directed by Sylvian White. So the premise of the film is set around the mysterious legend of the title character Slenderman. So, from reading some of the reviews online prior to seeing this film, it did look like it was getting panned and didn't seem like it was going to score any points with me, to be fair, um, to be honest. I did know uh, from seeing some of the trailers when it was initially released that I wasn't expecting it to be groundbreaking horror film, but the picture painted did seem to be that of the lower end of the spectrum. However, after watching the film, I can't say that I fully agreed. I mean, it didn't set any new ground and didn't set anything on fire, uh, if you know what I mean. It was fairly average fare, but nonetheless, it was watchable. And please don't judge me, had a few jumpy moments uh, and managed to be quite creepy in its execution in places. The film is based on the newish modern day viral video born urban legend surrounding a character known as Slenderman. Um, a dark, thin, stick-like creature, almost basically looked like a big twig, um, who was believed to take the innocent youth. Um, the main premise being that there is a video doing the rounds on the internet that gives instructions on how Slenderman can be summoned, for those basically stupid enough that want to try. The film sees a bunch of teens, spared on by wanting to follow the friends, take on the Slenderman challenge, uh, one night in, a, in an attempt to summon the Slenderman. At first, they don't believe that they've succeeded. Um, however, in the weeks that follow, starting with the mysterious disappearance of one of the group uh, during a school trip, a series of events unfold which sees them go deeper into the Slenderman mythology. As one by one uh, the Slender Man starts afflicting the group, uh, we learn that he, once summoned, and I mean, as far as the movie's concerned, as I believe the mythology itself is quite extensive uh, and has many sort of different facets to the Slender Man's mode and motives of operation, it manifests himself in a number of different ways and opts, and nobody knows how the choice is made, uh, once seen to either take you or leave you. Uh, so that it can haunt you and get inside your head uh, in an almost infection-like manner. In this vein, the movie and in fact the urban legend itself borrows elements from others. Uh, from the movie's perspective, this is especially true for the likes of The Ring, for which it pretty much borrows its main premise. Uh, and even films like the Nightmare on Elm Street se uh, series, notably for the altered reality and nightmare-like sequences, uh, Candyman and even, I think, mythology from the Blair Witch for good measure. All this being said, the film wasn't bad, it wasn't awful, it was just average. If you're looking for something to make your skin crawl, then this movie ain't for you. Uh, catering directly to the teen market, the film is not in any way blood and guts galore. There's nothing like that in it at all. The film plot lends itself more to offering uh, suspense and scares via visions and perceptions on altered reality. It was a film that was worth a watch, uh, but don't just expect too much. So that brings me to the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my reviews and general movie discussions, then please do hit that subscribe button. Uh, please leave a like on this video or any others on my channel. Um, and any comments, they're also very welcome. Especially if you have any ideas for um, any films that you'd like me to watch and review as part of upcoming SciFest Movie Talk episodes. Thank you very much for watching.